Hey again, just thought I'd do a quick update after my installation was completed last week um, on the Thursday. Uh, so on the Friday, the lead installer um, and another plumber returned just to make sure everything was working. Uh, make sure the Legionnaire site lid worked, which actually it hadn't, but it, the family was just a, a setting um, that hadn't been ticked, I think, on the MMI controller. So there's a test run again, um, and that worked fine. It, it was absolutely fine. Up to heated up to 55 degrees. Um, it did that really quick, um, so that was spot on. Um, what else? They also spotted the because it'd been raining quite heavily. The drip tray um, looked like it was pooling the water and it wasn't releasing the water properly. So they made some adjustments to that and that sorted as well. Um, after that, um, so after the weekend, everything working fine. Um, really warm all the time. Um, it's working spot on. Uh, so yesterday, there was two, actually there was two octopus auditors came around. Um, one for the heat pump and one for the um, electrical side. Everything looked pretty much fine on the pump side, apart from a couple of bits of lagging um, in the loft that needed to be tidied up. Um, the electrical side, um, they looked round, everything seemed fine. I asked if I was happy with the position of the consumer unit at the front of the house. Um, I asked if it would be possible to move it, um, mainly because of all the negative comments I've seen on Facebook. A lot of people saying it was too low, it was dangerous where it was, um, it's not waterproof, anything like that. Um, they said, yeah, that was fine, wouldn't be a problem, they could get it moved. Um, even though it's not against regulations, it wasn't you know, against any of those, uh, it was fully IP68 rated, so waterproof. Um, and actually, Previous to that, there'd been the EV um, consumer unit was there, so they just replaced that with a new consumer unit. But it had previously been there, and it'd been there for a year and a half without any issues whatsoever. You know, the charger was working fine, so I know people were complaining where it was, so it wouldn't last, but it had been absolutely fine. Um, so anyhow, uh, today, which is Tuesday, uh, I've had three of the team back, um, two electricians, and also the lead installer. So the, the loft lagging was quickly um, fixed, um, but the, the moving of the consumer unit, that did take it quite a while, it was five hours. Because when they had a look, they decided um, it would look a lot neater if they recabled all the cables for both the heat pump and the EV um, from the rear to the, um, to the front. Um, so that took a lot of work and it looks fine to me again, even though it looked fine before. Um, so I'm really happy with it. Um, I'll take it down in a minute and I'll just take a video showing around. Um, I'm sure people still have negative comments, but everything looks fine to me and I'm happy. So um, I'll take it down for a look around. Okay, so again, the heat pump. Actually, good time. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually, as it's getting the temperature in the house back up after the five hours have been, um, all the doors opening, things like that when they've been doing the electrical side it's actually running now it's you can hardly hear it it's just a slight wind sort of sound we'll go closer probably hear it more from a distance you know you notice it uh, so it's the rear unit consumer unit just the side Cable and I've actually done a good job in tidying the cable and up again. All the way along. Put it behind um, the pressure release this time. So all the way around. Um, to the consumer unit. So it's now further up the house. 